463 kilometers of road lays between the Philippines capital of Manila and the mountainous region of Ifugao. Travelers from all over the world enjoy these long, winding, elevated roads to view a millennia-old man-made marvel that is said to be the eighth wonder of the world. My first stop was the small provincial town of Banawe, known as the doorway to the famous heritage site and home to the undulating valleys of the Ifugao rice terraces. After a grueling nine-hour drive, finally arrived in Ifugao and we're in the town of Banawe. I can actually see the beautiful rice terraces over here. It certainly makes a pretty view to wake up to. The Santa Fe Lodge, a very modest and simple accommodation, boasts an outdoor terrace restaurant which has the best view in the house, the likes of which make a great setting for enjoying your cup of native coffee. On the way to the view decks of the rice terraces, you're sure to see the eye-catching red of traditional Ifugao attire. In exchange for a tip, you're given a scarf and a hat for a photo opportunity. More enriching, however, is to discover the history of the area. The man I met was happy to talk with me about the history of the terraces, and what a better way to learn than straight from a local. Striking uninterrupted view of millennial old earth art, the result of work done by hand just floors you. <gasps> so beautiful. The Banawe terraces make a stunning first impression. I woke up early on my second day here in Banawe to watch the sunrise. I then headed over to 7th Heaven for breakfast. The food, although very simple, is set in an earthy interior that's coupled with yet another scenic view. This is the most beautiful view to have your breakfast. Okay, just like today. Not very good, no. <laughs> And then after that, came over here to another viewpoint of the Banawe Rice Terraces and actually got to climb around one. It was a little bit nerve-wracking, I have to admit. Oh, that's so nice.